What did it make? It gave Hamburg a lot of rights. It gave us the rights to, to trade, to, to trade without paying taxes to the emperor, which is very important. Mm. Uh, the, tr uh, the right to staple the, the, all the, the goods here for, for quite a long time. And it gave us uh, what we would say now, um, the right to do our own government and administration. So freedom always depends on, on wealth, on money, and it depends on the right to do your own thing. And this charter that he gave us gave Hamburg the right to be a free city. A free city in the sense to do a lot of trade without paying taxes, and to have its own government and administration. And since 1189, Hamburg has been a free city. And it even got more free when it, were, it became a member of the Hanse, the famous network of uh, the Hanse cities doing trades to trade together. A lot of them harbors up to the Scandinavian, up to Russia, uh, Russia. And Hamburg was part of this Hanse. So we have now the name the free and Hanseatic city of Hamburg. And that's a long tradition, and I think that is one of the reasons that Hamburg is a little bit different in, in different kinds. So we have different words for our government. It's the Senate, Senat. It, it roots back to the, the Roman, the Latin. They always try to stay in a long historical tradition. You will see it in the city hall when we go through. The Senate, and we have the parliament nowadays. It's called the Bürgerschaft. The citizenship, we would say, but more in a sense of citoyen, in the French sense, citoyen, the one who is taking care of public affairs, who is really active in his, in his community, in the state. And they kept these words up until now, so they make clear we are in that long tradition. And that's, I think that's very special um, in Hamburg. And since the 15th century, we have these institutions, the Senate and the Bürgerschaft, not in the more de democratic sense. Uh, Bürgerschaft in that time were all those people who had um, an estate in Hamburg, yeah. okay. ground, owned, mm -hmm. owned ground, and had a certain amount of cash. So not everyone, but those who were the owned estates and who were rich were part of this citizenship. But nevertheless, they did their own thing. They cared, took care for, for example, for the widows, widows of, of poorer, Tradesmen's, where could they live? They built. They had foundations to build buildings for these widows. They, to, they took care of schools, university, university uh, to get uh, good water, to prevent the cholera. All these kind of things that state nowadays does. So this is is a very long tradition, and um, so maybe you understand the sentence we saw in front of uh, on the on the tower of uh, the. Um, the, the uh, city hall. Well, 1860, uh, that changed. The first constitution of Hamburg said, from now on, we have uh, not only the, the rich people to be elected into the Bürgerschaft, into the parliament, but everyone to, to be elected. So that's the beginning of what we would call the democracy in Hamburg. And when they, they lost, even they had the sentence to keep the freedom, they lost it during the Third Reich during Nazi, Nazis closed parliament as everywhere in Germany. Mm. And they started again in 1946. We had the British military government here. And what they did 1946 was to um, create a parliament that was not elected, but selected by the military government. So they, they took some people without any Nazi the tradition, they took uh, women, student, artists, union people, church people, and created the first parliament, 81 persons. We call it the Ernante Bürgerschaft, but this is our first period of, we said, the first Bürgerschaft after the war. And 1946, in October, we had the first elections, the democratic elections, so that they had the first real elected Bürgerschaft with 120 members of parliament. We are now in the 18th um, period, where we have 121 members of parliament now. And we have the, the highest number of election periods in Hamburg in, within Germany, uh, because we had some very short periods. They, they had pro political problems here, and they, they, stopped the, they can stop the election period if there is some, some problem between government and, and the opposition. So we have 18. I think Bundestag has now 16, 
and um, it differs in Germany. Yeah, that's uh, so. It's a little bit special, but to show you that it's regional what we do, and it's it's different from from Berlin, very different from it. Christine, yeah. If you have 121 members of parliament yeah. from the this area, yeah. How many members represent this area in Berlin? Well, three. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, in, in the yeah, Bundestag? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think 11. it's through 11. Mm -hmm. okay. That depends on the election areas here in Hamburg, how many areas or constituencies. But approximately 11 at the 11 national are level. 11 here at the national level. Okay. And we have also the second chamber, the Bundesrat, uh, which is not uh, your second chamber uh, with elected members, but there are members of the government of the 16 states, and they are sent to the Bundesrat, the second chamber in Berlin. So we have our members of parliament in the Bundestag, in the federal parliament, 11 from Hamburg. And we have three voices, we say, in the second chamber, in the Bundesrat. But these are not voices that are elected by Hamburg people, uh, but these are voices from Hamburg government. So, and these voices can only be given all together. So Hamburg government tells these three people. Yeah, so, yeah, so you, what you're saying is that they, they come to a consensus position for Hamburg, and Hamburg, it's Hamburg that is represented, Hamburg. not individuals I voting. I see. Yeah. And it, it is only the, uh, the opinion of, the, of our government. government. There is, it's only a problem if you have a coalition in the government. If you have social democrats and um, Christian democrats in the government both, and they go to Bundesrat with the three voices of Hamburg, <coughs> and they have different opinions, then they have to find what can Common we do. Ground. But they cannot split the three voices. They can only say yes or no. So that depends on what they do. It's not a, a second chamber in your sense where you have elected people right. going there. So it's, it's different. And um, the members of 